AM5 adds some new ways to add dynamics to your sounds. One of the most interesting ones is in the effects section, we can now add modifiers to anything. So like, let's just as an example, use this uh, goofy sound here that I've got. Uh, I want to modify the high gain on this. So I double tap on it and I get the options here and I add a modifier. And in this case, I'm going to use an LFO, which lets me set a rate for a thing that's going to be affecting this. And you could really hear that and see it in action here. And I, I don't actually want to push it all the way up there. Let's make this less of a goofy effect and more of a gentle thing here. You just reduce its range a bit. And in addition to the built-in effects, we can apply this same modifier to other effects, like the uh, tone boosters. So let's swap modes here real quick. So now going back to the lead that we were playing with in the previous video, where we did this elaborate routing here, uh, we've got this reverb on the high end. So let's uh, add a modifier to this now, where I'm going to just max it out so we can hear what's going on. And I am going to now add a modifier to the reverb tail. I'm going to switch this over to a sine LFO. And I'm going to reduce the max to uh, three seconds. And you can see it playing around with that. It's a little bit much with the max out uh, wetness, but it's it's interesting. Here, let's uh, add another one for the uh, width. That's just kind of a fun thing that you do. You can also set things like tempo, like let's say I want this to happen every uh, four eighth notes. Uh, this is just something that add extra motion here, so when I mix this down into something that's a little bit more reasonable, it's not a, an insane effect, it's just something that's adding a little bit of extra dynamics to our sound. The compressor is something you usually use to reduce dynamics, but we're going to use it to accentuate the dynamics here. I'm going to switch now up into our bass. And let me solo that. And switch our loop. And this is what it's sounding like right now. So it's kind of a fun, bouncy thing. And if we bring in the drums here, you'll hear that they're, they're working well together, but I don't know, the bass is really low and kind of muddying up things. A really simple way to clean out that sound is to use a side chain compressor. So let's do that. Where I'm going to go up to our bass here and go into the effects grid and add a compressor. And there's uh, several options available to you in here. Um, I'm going to use the one that's built in uh, that comes for free with uh, Audio Evolution. If you're unfamiliar with compressors, they work by squashing your audio. So you get all the, the quiet stuff a little bit louder and all the loud stuff stays relatively where it's at. Um, so this would ordinarily reduce dynamics. We're going to be using it kind of creatively here instead. You'll notice that we've got a sidechain option at the top here uh, in between the remove and mute buttons. And you get this option with the built-in compressor as well as the tone boosters compressor. And if I check that, we can now go in and pick a source track. What's going to be the input for this? And I'm going to use the drum loop. And next it's going to ask me which block in the signal chain do I want to be using as my source block? And I'm just going to use the out for right now. And uh, now what's going to happen here is the side chain, whatever we pick as the input, is going to be a signal that the compressor looks at and says, OK, is this signal above my threshold? And if it is, then I need to be reducing the volume of the audio that I'm taking care of by whatever amount we're sitting in the ratio and the attack time release here. So uh, with that explained, watch over here. You're going to see a little thing moving around. So right now it's whenever the volume is greater than negative uh, 10 decibels, we get a little bit of a reduction in our bass. If I really amplify this, you can start to hear that. Okay, it's not, I got to tweak this to make it sound good, but you can really hear how that's, the that bass is just getting cut out really fast and hard. Um, let's really max that out. 
Like we can barely hear the bass at all now that I've uh, pushed that ratio uh, to an insane amount. Let me try to make this sound good here. All right, so now we got this kind of breathy thing here. It's not a huge effect. It's like not really in your face. It's just kind of cutting out to let the drums sound through without muddying them up. And it makes our bass sound a little breathy. But when we're just using the whole drums track like this, it it's kind of weird because like, we've got a whole lot of different things going on in the drum track. We got the, the kick, we got the snare, we got the hats. Like if any of those are above our threshold, then it's going to be pushing down our bass. And we probably don't want it to work like that. So fortunately, we we can tailor this. We can get really uh, uh, exact about what input point we want to be working with as our sidechain input. So let me go back into uh, the drums here. And this is going to be a great use of the new uh, uh, signal chain that we can uh, do here. I'm going to take what is essentially the end of, of our affecting it here with a, a barricade and then the EQ. I'm going to throw it off into a new path. And on this path, I'm going to put in a go to EQ the low pass, which lets me just carve out a huge section. Like we're, we're getting down to the like 300 hertz area. So we're, I'm trying to aim specifically just for the kick. Now we probably wouldn't want to be listening to this and we don't have to because we don't have to route it back into the main signal like this. We can just leave this dangling off in its own little area that's not going to the out of this track. So we've just got a parallel area that's got all of the, the treatment that we have on the, the main drums, but now it's also got this one thing where it's just completely reducing it with this low pass to only the sounds that are below 300 hertz. Now, if I go back into the uh, effects grid for the, the bass part here, I can change my side chain. If I hit drums again now, it'll ask me for where do I want my input to be coming from. And in this case, it is already selected on the uh, low pass. If you listen to this, this should be way different. Let me uh, go in here and reduce the volume of the drums. So by keeping it uh, like this, it's still affecting it. We're just not hearing the drums. So let's go back in here and you can see that. Like you can really hear that breathy quality that I was looking for. We can try to... Like at this point, it's getting a little obnoxious. But there was a lot of, especially in the like late aughts, early teens, a lot of songs doing this kind of aggressive, breathy bass thing. And the reason they were doing that was it's a great way to cut the bass out and let the, the kicks sound without being drowned by the um, whatever we got going on in the bass. And now we could do things like really like just push this. Like uh, I've got this routed directly into a limiter so I can really aggressively push the output on this now. I'm going to point that aggressively. And <laughs> when I bring back in the drums, the drums won't be like muddy or anything. Like they're, they're getting space to do each. Uh, a few things to keep in mind here. Um, notice that I've, when I was doing these, I kept the input on, right? The, if I just mute this drum loop and we're going back in now and we're still on soloed for the uh, bass part, you'll notice that we're not getting any sidechain activity. Um, that's because it, the way Audio Evolution Mobile is treating it, it's like that doesn't even exist anymore. It's not using up any CPU cycles because it's trying to save your battery. Uh, so if you you are doing this, and you wanted to actually be doing something, you need to make sure that either it's it's active and can play, or in this case, it's I'm already soloing on this bass MIDI. I need to solo the drum in order for that to have any impact on the sidechain. This Audio Evolution Mobile is going to try to not use any extra processing that it doesn't need to. So keep that in mind. Uh, now that we've got this uh, set up, um, let's let's hear all of these parts together. Here are modulation and everything.